Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've done a great job at covering the toxic coaches in the gyms that are USAG hotspots. And while taking some time off, it's very crazy right now working out a hospital with COVID, I decided to watch some of the 1989 meets. There are many toxic things in the world of gymnastics, and one of those things are those who run USAG. Today, I'm going to discuss the toxic commentators that define Christy Henrik's body image. This is a heavy subject because it discusses disordered eating, so viewers' discretion is advised. First, I'd like to educate you on the lead up to these videos. Al Fong was responsible for not one, but three gymnasts suffering from vertebra injuries. Christy was one of them, and in these videos, they will make reference to the injury because this almost ruined Christy's career. In 1988, Jalissa had gotten her injury on the vault, becoming a paraplegic. One year later, before these meets, Christy injured herself while doing a double back off of beam. Her father stayed in the Chicago Tribune. I wanted to tell her that maybe this was a warning. Tell her not to continue. In the videos, I will discuss the harsh tactics that commentators and producers used on Gymnast's image. Let's begin with her first video which is an interview with Christy Henrik. Against the Soviet Union in a duo meet. She's unable to be here, and the gymnast missed her motivation. Um, I think it's really unfortunate that she couldn't compete because I was looking forward to competing against her because I was, I'm really, I was really ready to compete against anybody or anything because I was working at 10-0s, and if I can score a 10-0, then I can beat anybody. The first video I included stuck out to me because they really mold Christy to be very competitive towards Brandy, who at the time was injured. We don't hear interviews like this today from gymnasts, and I wonder how much of this cockiness came from Al Fong's teaching, or if the producers who were asking these questions put her in a compromised situation. Now let's swing over to the vaulting competition. This is Christine Henrich. She may be a familiar face to some of our ESPN viewers because you saw her at the DTB Cup over in Germany a couple of years ago. She's been training very, very hard since then, has lost quite a bit of weight and added a lot of difficulty. This video is the trials to determine who will qualify for the 1989 Worlds. The first comment they make is that she has been training hard and has lost quite a bit of weight. At this time, Christy was not showing signs of disordered eating, and regardless of if she was, this isn't something that needs to be discussed since this should have nothing to do with her performance. She's doing a round off layout full, a terrific ball. One of the more difficult balls performed, it scored from a 10.0. And Christy has really come on strong. At USA Championships, she did a super job, but she was coming off a tough injury. She had broken a vertebra in her back, was out for quite a while. It's a scary injury, too, but she came back, and she looks better now than she did at USA Championship. Trimmed down, and in a lot better shape. Look at the replay of her vault. They again discuss her weight by saying that she has trimmed down. Commentators did not pay attention to words back then and how it can really hurt somebody's ego. Do it well, but she performs it, and this is something all the others really need to work on. <laughs> Very low on the landing, but pulls it out. Well, we saw her with that in the warm-ups. She did look real strong in the warm-ups. She almost had a career-ending injury. Of course she may not look herself. She's still recovering. I think she could be a little bit tired. She came in early, started warming up long before anybody else stayed at the end of the compulsories yesterday. That was a completely blown ass. Yes. We'll have to look at, again at that at the replay and see exactly what happened. You can see her blink her eyes. jeopardize her position on the team. It's just, she's had such a tremendous competition, it's a shame to end like this. They are more worried about her performance than her well-being. She just got hurt doing a double back. Let's see how she can do her this she took a, She's supposed to do a double back. Pulls it around. Get like I said, she just looks tired. I thought, I honestly thought, and probably would have done so myself, opted to do a double twist. Literally. Not done the most difficult tumbling man. She's blinking and shaking her head. She does not look right. She's fighting back. Yeah, well, the emotions of it. It's a tough she way to end a, a great competition for her. 
Now she's the one who had a broken vertebrae in her back. Now let's see exactly what happened. This is the first tumbling run. And she really worked for this one. She did a whip over through to a double back. And when you start out this week in floor exercise, it's, it would be like starting out to run a half a mile and dying in the first quarter of the, of the race. It's really now, tough. She does a front handspring, front with a full twist, step out. Did not have enough power here. <laughs> and that was not That's what she planned snap. to do at all. Exactly. That's what concerned me. She snapped her head. And then she really Now watch her face here. She comes up after she snaps her head down. Yeah. Here, hit the deck. Now watch, she'll come up and she'll blink. Watch it right here. She's blinking it off. She is dazed. Well, I know exactly why she's blinking. She usually does a double back there. It's not because she just forgot to do a double back or was upset that she didn't do it correctly. It's because she just wiped out and she's feeling out of it. And whether she realized she was stopping herself, she did the right thing. She didn't pull for a double back. So Christy's upset with her performance while the trainers look at her neck. This is just her second meet since she fractured that cervical vertebrae. But right now, let's take a look at the scores. First for Kim Kelly on the floor exercise event. Nine Maybe that's just me, but I feel like there was no compassion in that for her injury. It's going to be a fairly tough act for 17-year-old Christy Henrich of the United States to follow. And another big no-no, they're no longer allowed to list the weight of the gymnast when they are showing who the person is and their information, uh, that's a big no-no. That Christy is even competing at these world championships is an amazing story. Last April, she fractured a vertebra in her neck in a practice session. When she came back to compete in the U.S. championships, she finished second to Brandy Johnson. And earlier, Christy told us how the ordeal helped to make her a much better gymnast. I think that it's made me tougher. You know, maybe some people it might make weaker, but if I can get through those low times, then it just makes me that much more ready to go. I'm just tougher. 4'11", 93 pounds, Christy Henrich. Again, commentators not allowed to make any sort of reference to their weight. She is tough as nails. And her coach, Al Fong, calls her E.T. for extra tough. Now, her style on the uneven bars differs from Fondi. She tends to move a little sharper, quicker, in spurts. She pops from one bar to the other, and obviously, she's very clean. Strong. Good pirouette on top of the bar. Excellent routine. Christy finished ninth at the Olympic trials, just missing a spot on the U.S. team. But it is very apparent that she is a much improved gymnast. And there's Al Fong, her coach, to congratulate her. While at this meet shown, a judge made a comment to Christy, telling her that she would need to lose weight in order to improve in her performance. If you'd like a video on Christy's life, I could expand more on the judge's point of view. But in this video, I'd like to focus on just the commentators. As we can see, Many people are influenced by commentators, which isn't just those who are watching the sport. And gymnasts do observe some of these things that are said. Christy was one of many who fell a victim to the harsh comments that were made, making her out to sound bad, making her sound as though she was overweight, and neglecting her injury by not taking it serious is something that has changed over time. Because of Christy's passing, commentators are no longer allowed to make references to weight or body image in a negative way. There are some ways that commentators have improved on feedback, but of course, there is still room for improvement. 